Chairman of the Ceylon Chamber of Commerce, Dr. Hans Vijayasurya, has written to the Secretary to the Prime Minister, EMSB Ekanayaka. In his letter, the Chairman of the Ceylon Chamber of Commerce thanks the Secretary to the Prime Minister for the letter addressed on the 6th of July 2019, which provides valuable information with respect to the next steps of the government in terms of placing the MCC agreement before Parliament that would provide requisite transparency to the general public. The letter added, quote, the Chamber concurs that the MCC project office in Colombo in collaboration with the Chamber had on several occasions solicited private sector inputs with respect to the development funded through the MCC grant, unquote. It also says, quote, the assurance of the government that the complete agreement will be placed before Parliament will now provide complete information inclusive of the conditions, if any, applicable to the grant, unquote. He says the communication dated 3rd July 2019 from the board of the Ceylon Chamber of Commerce was with the sole intent of obviating the space for misinformation and speculation. The board of the chamber also wishes to state that communications from the chamber have and will always be non-partisan and sincerely reflective of the imperatives that need to be addressed in the greater national interest. The letter concludes saying, quote, it is duly noted that your letter of 6th July addressed to the chairman of the chamber has been released to the media and that accordingly the information provided by you on the captioned subject has been made available to the public already. Please note, therefore, that the Ceylon chamber will not be releasing this communication to the media, unquote. Though the Ceylon Chamber of Commerce said this letter was not going to be published in the media, advisor to the Prime Minister and the Minister of National Policies and Economic Affairs, Attorney at Law Sudarshana Gunawardana, had made this letter public and posted this on his Twitter account. Does this not signify dirty politics?